Hey everyone, another version of Better Call Art. And today I'd like to tackle the topic of ghosting. Thanks to a recent Top 100 meeting um, where someone actually brought up the topic of ghosting. What are, what do you do if you've been ghosted? So for ghosting, it, it's pretty interesting. The, I've been doing this for 42 years, but I believe there's, when it comes to ghosting, there's two different types of ghosts. I, I mean, what I'm saying is I, you can't live it. I can't think about ghosting for everyone. I, I think with ghosting, there's two different types of ghosts. So off to the side, this is our first culprit. And this ghost would be, of of course, if you're not familiar with this ghost, it's from Ghostbusters, but this is Slimer. Now, Slimer is that type of ghost that you don't have a relationship with. You've never met with that person. You may have spoken to that person once on the phone and maybe once had an inter-email transaction. But Slimer is the ghost where you don't have, the, again, you don't have that relationship. So Slimer is the ghost that, you know, you email, you call, uh, and you can never get a hold of that person because that person is Slimer. Slimer will never, ever get back to you because you don't have a relationship with that person. Now, my other ghost is our beloved Casper, right? Casper, the friendly ghost. So that other ghost, Casper, is, is that person that you have a relationship that maybe that's an existing client or you've done a demonstration or if you've had some meetings, you've uh, gone back and forth with either texts or emails. So I thought it was important that, 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 for me, there's two different types of ghosts that, so for me, there's, when, when we speak about ghosting, there's two different types of ghosts. Of course, Slimer, we're, we can't pay any attention to because we never developed a relationship with Slimer. But Casper, on the other hand, we've developed that relationship. We've had a talk track. We've had interaction. When, when I speak about ghosting, I'm going to speak about some of the options that I've used uh, over over time uh, when somebody has ghosted me. So one of the, I guess one of the most, not not one of the most, just three options. I'll point out which one I think is most important. But if somebody, of course, is has ghosted me on repeated emails, repeated phone calls, um, I'm going to arrange a stop it. I'm going to plan a day. I might pick four or five people that have ghosted me and I'm going to make sure that I pop in to their office. I'm also going to do a little bit of research and find out or go back through my notes and I'm going to be in tune to what time they're usually uh, in the office. So it, it'll, it'll bring up my odds that I'm going to be able to at least uh, meet with that person. My second option would be to either mail them a letter or FedEx them something. So of course I prefer FedEx because that's gonna get some attention even though mail is good too because nobody gets uh, 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 personal mail, but I go the route of FedEx. I will spend the 12 or $14, whatever the uh, cost may be to get the FedEx to that person. But FedEx isn't my favorite uh, among you know, stopping in FedEx, I would have to rate sending a FedEx or sending a letter uh, as number three uh, in, on my list. Number two on my list is the um, stop in. But uh, the tops on my list is to go back 30 years ago um, when voicemail just started to kick in. And I'm going to send them an email. And the email is going to be Simple. It's it's basically going to say, "Are you okay?" With a question mark, 
I'm going to send that email. And I would say with the prospects accounts where I've developed that relationship, Casper, I'm, if I had to guess, I'm probably going to get an 85% response, right? Now, that response um, works. Are you okay? The response is emotional. It's showing that hey, you 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 know uh, you you care. You 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 want to make sure everything's okay. Nothing's happened. And at that point in time, the, the person uh, you know think about you. They, if you get an email for someone, say hey, are you okay? Well, by all means, you're going to answer that you, you know email. And and with that, just that, that little email that says hey, are you okay? Can get everything back on track. Keep in mind that most clients, suspects, prospects, they're not ghosting you on purpose. Of course, we're talking about Casper ghosts. They're not ghosting you on purpose. They're too busy. Um, something's happened in their personal life. Uh, work demands are too high. Uh, maybe they took an unannounced uh, vacation. Uh, but when you want to look at, uh, at things that you can do, uh, number three, right? Send them a letter, FedEx them. Number two, schedule a top in. One, send that simple email. Everyone, thanks for the time today. Uh, please like or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, good selling. And the harder you work, the luckier you get.